This screencast from Onshot.net uh, rounds off our series on using long multiplication uh, on an interactive whiteboard. Now this screencast uh, is uh, simply just shows how, uh, how to do a fourth uh, way of long multiplication. It doesn't really need to be used on an interactive whiteboard at all um, and essentially it's just really to indulge my own uh, mathematical geeky side really. Um, I'm just going to show you how it works just in case you ever want to teach it in your class. So um, just to have a blank screen here in front of us and I'll just um, make sure that we go to the previous slide just to check the sum that we've been working on and how the Russian method u works with it. Uh, it's 23 multiplied by 47 to get 1081 so we'll just hopefully get that. So let's uh, try that. 23 multiplied by 47. Now the way the Russian method works is that every line uh, we uh, double one of the numbers and half the other number and see what happens. So what we'll do is we'll have until we get down to, when we have numbers until we get down to one and what you do is you block out the remainder so what we'll do is 23 divided by 2 is going to be 11 remainder 1 but we get rid of, we don't bother with the remainders and then we um, double the other numbers so four, uh, 47 by 2 is 94 and we carry this on 5 multiplied and uh, we double 94, 188 and then we half again and double so this would be 376 and then the final one which we go down to 1 for is this one and again we double the number so some children might need a calculator here but it's a good way of actually practicing halving and doubling to be honest with you and um, so that would be obviously 752 now that's uh, the Russian method in a nutshell. I'll just make the text bigger so it fills the screen and we'll see what we can do then. Okay, so I suppose this is a slight step up from um, a normal whiteboard where you couldn't do any of this kind of stuff um, where you're moving things around. Now the thing about the Russian method is what we do once we've, uh, once we've figured all this sort of stuff out is the Russian method uh, tells you uh, once you've done your uh, done all that stuff is to get rid of any th any even um, numbers on on the uh, on the halving side so basically in this case uh, we keep the 23 we keep the 11 we keep the 5 we get rid of the the 2 and how I do that is I just draw a shape over it just to cover it it's uh, it doesn't really matter what color we use oops and we'll just make that bigger use a rectangle tool that would have been a better tool to use than the one I did use but uh, there we go so we've covered that over and the next thing to do then is add the numbers that are left so 47 94 188 and 752 and uh, if you you can trust me here that that actually does equal 1081 but again you can uh, uh, nice things that you can do pr uh, are uh, you can um, you can probably take the numbers away and make them into a sum on their own, so dragging them over and everything else, uh, depending on your software. Some software allows you to do that, other software doesn't. You can separate all the all the digits and everything else. So, um, just in this case, just to prove it to you, uh, I'll, I'll just do the sum up. 752, 752, 1, you'll have to excuse my handwriting, 88, 94 and 47. Let's uh, do some adding then. So 7 and 4, 8 and, two, uh, 8 and 2 is 21. Uh, 5 and 8, 13. 13 and 4 and 2 is 19. 99 is 28 and then carrier 2, 2, 1 and 7 is 10 and voila so I mean it actually does match 1081 um, and as I said not the greatest way of using an interactive whiteboard probably one of the worst ways you could use an interactive whiteboard but again just while they're new in the classroom it might be a bit more motivating than just actually writing on a, on a normal whiteboard uh, just there to prove 1081 it is 1081 um, so there you have it. That's uh, four ways to do long multiplication. This is the fourth of four videos showing that. Um, so best of luck 
um, as I said, using the interactive whiteboard in a much better way than this. But as I said, this is sometimes it's excusable uh, to use the interactive whiteboard as just a normal whiteboard.